What's up? Coming at you with the uh, results of the RIT Whitener Brightener. Hit these up about two days ago on my uh, 2000 Retro Concords I picked up uh, about a week ago, I guess. These were quite yellow, the uppers were, and what I did was clean them first with the, uh, just as a reminder, the Arm & Hammer or any liquid detergent. And then uh, after after applying hot water, because you got to get these pretty wet and mostly hot so that they suds up quickly. And then went to the uh, RIT with a, a very concentrated mix of the whitener brightener. And um, maybe at the most 16 ounces of water with two catfuls. So it's it comes out quite yellow looking in the cup, which is not much left in there. But anyway, um, so here's the results. And this is after leaving it on, cleaned them, and then left it on the uppers, uh, the Cordura nylon and the ice stays and um, using the same lighting out here in my makeshift uh, cobbler area on top of the washing machine and they came out you know a lot whiter They're, they got a ways to go I expected to have to do this again because I've already done it before with the OG's you'll see in the background there but um, you know you got some areas here where there, it was a little too soiled to get them white so they're gonna have to be actually clean more um, but definitely a lot a lot whiter get uh, better lighting on it here so yeah pretty impressed with uh, how that turned out for a one-time application uh, particularly the outer panel here is definitely a lot whiter and I didn't that, that was a shoe I used in the video the uh, right shoe I think it's flipped around here uh, right shoe is definitely a lot dirtier and God only knows why but you know there it is so it got the same application same tender loving care but um, just has more dirt to get off so uh, it's still a lot whiter I mean these were it's like a significant yellow color plus everybody knows the camera adds yellow to um, especially an iPhone camera to what would otherwise be quite white so yeah they're probably like a shade lighter than whatever you're seeing but the ice days come out really white even on one application um, just because the the nylon weave is a lot less complicated than the the cross pattern of the thicker uppers in between the panels so um, anyway to get the dirt out since you know whitener brightener is exactly what it says it is it's not really a cleaning agent it's more just to keep things looking fresh I'm going to go over to the uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser this particular one's the 50% stronger extra power one I recommend them. Um, you got to use lighter pressure. It is like a super fine, like almost a 1500 grit sandpaper, like emery paper. Um, it's obviously not quite as abrasive because you're applying water, but get that, get the section you're using really wet when you're going to use it on this mesh because you don't want to start um, wearing it thin. It'll just start, you know, kind of scuffing up and you'll see um, uh, like fuzzy, kind of a fuzzy look to it if it gets scuffed. Um, it works really good on the Phylon midsoles. Uh, a lot of people probably already know that. These particular ones are really not much to clean in the first place. But again, the Phylon, it's a really durable, spongy material. I prefer it over any other midsole. Um, I also think it's more comfortable, but it's also kind of fragile. It's, it's more prone to scuffing, and um, you've got to be a little bit careful with the pressure you apply and keep it wet so that it's, you know, more spongy and less dry and less likely to be abrasive to the uh, uppers on these. So what I'm going to do is end up, um, I'm not going to really do it in, for the camera, but um, just use a magic eraser on the dirt spots and uh, like this little guy here, this little quarter panel here has got some soil and then obviously the tongue on these are, is a lot dirtier than this one. Um, but I'll go along the line here and basically just clean them and then hit go straight back to the writ. I'm probably going to skip the uh, laundry detergent from now on. It's basically left over for some other project or just to toss down the drain. And um, I'll be able to check the results again. I expect to, to have it a lot different because these, these uh, OGs, which I'll show you real quick, um, they were hit with the writ and uh, they both were uh, magic clean erased prior to even owning the writ and I just wanted to see how it would come out. And they held up to the extra strength power version, so I, I know that they can take the abuse. I mean, you don't see any scuffs on these. Obviously, they're really got clean uppers. Um, they're used. I mean, they're shoot, they're a 15-year-old shoe. I didn't buy them dead stock, and they're not dead stock. I rock all my kicks, so they are what they are. But I um, wanted to keep them looking fresh, so I see glowed the soles. Um, 
obviously a little clearer on the outer edges, but, um, and they're not obviously icy, but don't really care. They're as icy as I care to get them. I might, you know, occasionally brush them up just to keep them uh, from getting too piss yellow, but that's a nice color to me. I don't, that's as good as I really care to get it. Um, but anyway, the, uh, yeah, the uppers were hit with uh, whitener brightener, two separate sessions. Um, actually applied it, I think, twice. And that section right there I might have to actually hit again. It's looking a little bit funky. Um, it's the only spot I've noticed where it's a little bit, it's gone gone back a little bit. So I might have to magic erase that one. But, I mean, they came out really pretty white. and pulled the tongue forward here so you can kind of get a feel for it. But yeah, I mean they're they're about as white as they're ever gonna get, and uh, kind of nice to have a 15 year old pair of kicks looking this fresh. I mean it's always great to rock them, it's dead stock as wrinkle free as possible. But um, I don't mind a well loved pair that I put some TLC into to make them up and run and get going. So if you kind of get some weird camera stuff like. They look darker on the camera than what I'm seeing in real life, but anyway, the fluorescent lighting's kind of wacky. Um, look a hell of a lot better in sunlight or daylight, but um, yeah, they're, they're really white, and uh, definitely can thank the RIT for that. So there's the Retro Pair Project, and there's the OGs. Um, just want to go over a really quick difference between the two, um, just for kicks, since they're my kicks fun to talk about. Uh, who the hell doesn't like Concords? You gotta be kind of crazy in my opinion if you're if you're a sneakerhead and not, not like an 11s. And uh, Concords are not my fave, like I said, it, but they're definitely in the top 10. They're pretty sick shoes, so I wouldn't have bought two pair. <laughs> but anyway, the toe shape, um, there's, there's very slight differences between the Retro 2000 and the OGs. Uh, they really did an awesome job on these Retros. Uh, kind of wish they wouldn't re-retro them in a way. I mean, as much as I wouldn't mind having a pair of Icy Blue 2011s, um, I'm not I'm not really looking forward to the changes in the patent leather and that kind of thing. But the toe box is um, more rounded um, on the OG pair, a little more pointed on these. These are a half size bigger, just so you know, but um, I had to go up because these are a little bit tight, even though they're my true size. Um, just it for some reason fit me tighter than some pairs. And so that's a slight difference. They kept the uh, cut of the patent nearly identical. If we go to the inside here, um, you can see that that is really like the same height for the most part. And it's got the white edge, the raw cut, if you want to call it that. Um, there's the OG pair. Can also see how much more clear those are because when I bought these, they were about as yellow as that, if not worse. 